My name is Michael Griffiths. Um, I work for Glasgow Clyde College and based in Annie's Land campus, which is formerly Annie's Land College. Um, my job, I teach HNC Interactive Media, HNC Computing and ANCs and also start to teach some gaming as well. The name of the project is uh, Video Lessons and the, the idea behind it was uh, we have this particular NC group, sometimes attendance can be an issue. So we um, have students who are trying to catch up, um, sometimes to no fault of their own. And I, I like the idea of them being able to look back at what we've done the previous week rather than me taking up class time to teach them. Um, so I decided to record uh, some of the lessons um, that I've been teaching. By record, I mean screen capture and audio rather than any video um, of the classroom itself. We're very lucky in the college that we've got smart software and smart boards in all the rooms. Um, so the best way to um, capture that is to use the recorder software that's part of the smart uh, software. There are other free types of software available as well, um, but all you have to do is put on the recorder on the smart board software, hit the record button and have a USB microphone plugged in. One of the things um, I wanted to see was how students reacted to the, um, the lessons when they were doing the class. So as much as it is a video, I still observe them working alongside it. Some of the lessons lend themselves to them um, taking part as, as the lesson goes on. So I'll watch it and see how, how they progress. Also, you'll get feedback from um, students from if they've done it at home. or Sometimes some of the um, more advanced students like to show that they're watching the lessons on the tablet um, and so on. I think the impact on the students um, it's if the students are keen to get on, and sometimes they, um, they can be a wee bit shy, particularly with computing students, they can be quite inshore sometimes. So rather than having to stick their hand up in the classroom, they can go and watch the lesson again. Um, obviously I still encourage them to ask me if they're stuck, but some of them don't like doing that. Um, so it lets them try something three or four times again and again without having to um, speak up in front of a class. I think we could, we could allow, we could, bring this out among the staff in the department because a lot of the computing labs, or I think all the computing labs have the availability of software to do this. Um, the hardware is as simple as getting a USB mouse, uh, sorry, a USB microphone, putting that in place um, and running with that. Um, so it could be used right across the board. One of the things I think is convincing people to commit their voice to audio, which can be a bit of a um, a hassle, but I'm hopeful that a couple of other lecturers will take it on as well. I've only um, started doing this project properly since maybe October-ish, um, so there's quite a few issues I'd like to change. The quality of the quality of videos is decent, the quality of audio varies. Um, I would like to also get a better compression of the videos um, uh, so that they can take up less room when I'm uploading that would lead to students having uh, in more places. So if you could put, even maybe upload them to YouTube as well, let YouTube post them. Um, I say just improving the quality and um, maybe even having a microphone in the classroom so you can hear when the students are talking and asking questions during it. Um, it will save me repeating the question during it.